Arcs in SketchUp can be created in three ways. The traditional method is the two-point arc. Click to define the two endpoints of the arc, then pull out a bulge or radius and click to finish. You can also create arcs by establishing the center point first. Choose the Arc tool, click once to set the center point, click again to start the arc, and click a third time to finish the arc. The Pi tool works in the same way, but results in a complete surface. For the following examples, we'll use the two point arc method. When pulling out the radius of the arc, make sure to watch the inference direction as it is easy to pull the arc in various directions. You can also type an exact radius for the arc if needed, and there are some built-in clues as well to help you be accurate. For example, let's place an arc on the end of this rectangle. As we pull the arc out, SketchUp snaps and tells us that we're in a perfect half circle. The arc tool will also help you draw arcs that are perfectly tangent to two edges. In our example, we have a 90-degree corner, a 120-degree corner, and a 30-degree corner. Start by clicking on one edge, then move to the next edge, and move the cursor slowly along the edge until the arc line changes color to a magenta color. Watch the color change as we find the tangent point. Click to accept the second point, then move the cursor slowly to find the tangent arc. Again, the line will change color when you've found the tangent arc and SketchUp indicates that you are indeed tangent to edge. Click to finish. Let's try again on some different angles. Click on an edge to start, move to the next edge and move slowly until an arc line snaps and becomes magenta. Click that point, and move away to find the magenta arc that is tangent to both edges. That's it. One, two, three, and done. The arc tool will also help you draw multiple arcs together in a sequence so they continue smoothly. It works like this. Start an arc from the endpoint of an existing arc. As you pull away, the arc line is blue, and tangent to the endpoint of the last arc. Simply finish the arc and start again. In this way, you can draw a complex series of edges that join together very smoothly. If you don't want to keep the new arc tangent to the previous one, simply pull away a different radius before finishing the arc. The last thing to understand about arcs is that they are like circles in SketchUp in that they are not perfect arcs, but rather a series of straight edges that behave as one entity. By default, arcs are made up of 12 segments. You can change the number of segments by typing a new number while drawing the arc, followed by the letter S for sides. Start drawing the arc, type in 5S, and hit the Enter key to create a five-sided arc. Draw another arc and type in 12S, to return to the default 12-sided arc. You can also get information and change the arc segments by right or context clicking on the arc and going to its entity info.